What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Um, like, uh, uh, most romantic thing. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is Andrew from the Fun Bros, and it is New York City in the summertime. No better place to be right now. And I'm here out in the city to talk to people, especially Asians, and ask them about Asian love life and PDA. Why or why not can they do it? Yo, this video is sponsored by East Meet East. Yes, we have worked with them before. As you know, EME is the number one Asian dating app. Today, they are celebrating half a million members and the launch of their live stream. Basically, it's like a brand new site. So if you joined a while back and you haven't logged in in a while, you should definitely check it out by clicking on the link down in the description box below. All right, enjoy this video. Would you consider yourself a romantic person? Hell yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, I am okay. a romantic person. Right. I'm Latina. Oh, I'm Mexican. Hispanic. Who shows the most PDA out of you two? I do. Well, yeah, as soon as my dad gets home, he goes up to my mom, he hugs her, he grabs her, and he kisses her all over the place. Are you like PDA romantic? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm all about that oh. stuff. <laughs> I I, yeah. I feel like it's funny. There's like this contrast yeah, here. So I like, don't like PDA at all. When I was in a relationship, like if my boyfriend would touch me, I'd be like. <laughs> Please don't, <laughs> like not here. Between your parents, maybe between them or you, did they show you or tell you anything about romance and love? My parents said I couldn't have any female friends until I graduated high school. No, they would like give a little like pat on the back or whatever. When you said you <laughs> saw your dad pat your mom on the back, that's, oh, that's when they, it's about to go down. My mama always told me watch out for them boys. My parents taught me to never trust women. Yeah, there was a, like, the occasional smooch, a lot of hugs, you know. Not like, honey, I'm home. It was a very open household where I could talk to them if I was like, hey, mom, I really want to f this girl. Wait, you, sorry, you say that to your mom? <laughs> I could if I wanted to. How did you learn your image of romance? Mostly by Western media. Since I like grew up in Long Island, I was surrounded by like white parents. I saw it like more toward like in that scene, so I still have a good idea of like what romance is. Like I had to learn it through my friends in high school and, and, and like people that like I would watch on like online got kind of <laughs> silly, but you know, growing up in a cold household, like it's kind of how it is. Who are the most romantic Asians? I think the guys that are obsessed with K-dramas. <laughs> I try to like emulate it when I was younger, but... And it didn't work? No, no. You guys are Korean. A lot of people looking at the K-dramas, how real is that? That's a bullshit. That's a bullshit. Asians are generally known to not show a lot of PDA, not be very expressive. Why do you think that is? I think it's just the way they were, uh, the place they came from, right? Like, you know, your parents probably grew up around like uh, when Mao Zedong was ruling. So, you know, they had to focus on other things like, um, you know, making the country a better place. Growing up, I don't see my parents showing too much PDA around us, even in the household. Even now, like with dating, I'm dating a non-Asian, so like that's even worse. And my parents are always asking like, oh, does he, you know, put his hand on your back? Do you guys hold hands in public? They give you the whole like, oh, don't date before you marry talk. <laughs> Asian parents, for the most part, are pretty, you know, hands off. Watching that growing up, it definitely, you know, instills a certain framework for how you should go about, you know, the relationship in public. My mom's always told me, like, you're an Asian, especially you're a girl, it's kind of dangerous out there to um, express, you know, yourself too much because you'll get more attention. Asian parents are not expressive towards their children. We're known for being, for having tiger parents, for having harsh punishments. That's something that kind of trickles down into like everyday life. In the traditional culture, like it's rooted that you're supposed to like be more reserved than like with their feelings, that so you don't feel like so cheap of like just spreading and like saying it all the time. They're more serious about academics and like other things. They don't want to like prioritize like that kind of love and they don't think it's that important when it is. I was once a tri uh, shy Asian person, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I was so afraid, I was an introvert. I was scared that people were gonna judge me, so I stayed quiet. And then it took me a while to actually open myself up. They have the Xiu Wen Ai in yeah. China to call it PDA. Yeah. And they also have a slang called Xiu Wen Ai the Kuai. It means if you are doing the PDA stuff, your relationship is gonna be over soon. Western values more about free love and um, freedom of expression. White people are the worst at PDA, hands down. We're the corniest, so we do <laughs> corny PDA <laughs> Asian culture has both sides of the spectrum. There's never a solid in between. It's either the Jabberwockies or the spelling bee, like hype beast Asians or who are at the library. When Asian kids grow up in America, do you think it would help them and it's better that they should adapt to the Western style of romance and like PDA and expressive culture? Oh, 100%. I mean, you're trying to be that cool kid, right? You're not trying to be that Asian, Asian nerd like playing video games all day. 
Wow. You are in America, so you know, adapt to it. Because everyone else is doing it, so why are you like putting yourself in the corner by not doing it? Stereotypically speaking, girls are craving that like attention. If you see like a guy being very touchy and like not be afraid to be seen, yeah. that kind of thing would help. Definitely like put yourself out there because like usually girls don't make the first move. You can do whatever the f you want in New York, so um, people don't really care, they mind their own business. As long as it doesn't really affect them, then they don't really give a shit. Asian guys should be more confident, more out there, and we'll definitely get more in life. I think everybody needs some love. It could be tough love and whatever, but you need to show some affection because if somebody don't know you love them or care about them, then they just like, but what if you really do care about them, so you know? We're in America, why not, you know? Don't be so strict on yourself, you know, explore the world, explore yourself. I'm glad I wasn't shy anymore. I feel like in New York, people don't really care. If I see like someone doing something really crazy, like on the street, like it wouldn't even bother me. Express your love. Yo, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that video about Asian love life and whether People should show more PDA or not, especially the guys. Um, my major takeaways are, of course, due to culture and how we're raised, it's hard for us to show and express ourselves, you know, as Asians. But definitely, if you take cues from the media or your friends, you can definitely learn these things. And number two, listen, PDA and being romantic in the Western sense is not for everybody. There's pros and cons to everything. It depends on how you want to live your life. And number three, generally everybody agrees that being bold and assertive will get you more out of life no matter what it is. And at the end of the day, if you want to show PDA, you can come to New York because nobody cares what you do on the street because they see crazy stuff on the street all the time. And again, huge shout out to East Meet East, AKA EME, which is a sponsor of this video, who is the number one Asian dating site in the world right now. Check out the link down below. Until next time, I'm out. Peace. Asian guys. Be romantic. Show your girl all the love you can. Like, you have to adapt to the way, like, American culture is sometimes. It could be romantic gestures. Give them, buy them flowers. You know, send flowers to their work. Buy chocolate. You have to show it.